Oke, okay. bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahirabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala asyrofil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd. Uh, the second contender of the Texas defense today we will have Adawiyah Ada Asri Rais. But before we are going to start the test defense, Ada, do you mind please try to deep breathe first? Because uh, I can see your face is too intense. Yeah? Deep <laughs> breathe first. Come on, Ada. Okay. Yeah? Right. Sorry, what? Sorry. Okay, you gotta deep and then breathe normally first. So I can see you oh, yeah, okay. uh, You are in uh, very conditions, yeah, before we are going to start this taxes defense, yeah. Okay, uh, and then I hope you're ready to watch all the previous taxes defense because uh, I guess all the question will be pretty similar. Yeah? And then if you already watch uh, all the previous taxes defense, you'll have your a verb you about what kind of the question that I ultimately ask to all of your big sis or big bro, yeah, from class of 2016, from class of uh, 2015, yeah. Okay, uh, before we are going to start this test is defense, and uh, uh, I'm gonna give you the uh, instruction what we are going to do for this test is defense. First of all, I'm gonna give you a chance here to explain your PowerPoint presentations. Yeah, and then I'm the one that will share the uh, PowerPoint. And then after that one, I'm gonna give you the question based on your complete tasks. Yeah, and then based on also your PowerPoint presentations. And then it will be the same also like what I told Sifa Fadila earlier. You are the one that mastering every single details. Yeah, from your tasks. Okay, so you're gonna be confident in giving all the answer. Okay, ada we ada Asri Rais. Before we are going to start this tasks defense, let's start this tasks defense here by reciting Basmalah together. Yeah, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Let's hope you can answer all of the question in a clear way, and then you can enlighten us with your research, with your finding, and then also you can uh, give us your significance uh, based on the result of your research. Okay, without wasting the time, I'm gonna start sharing the... Uh, uh, Mister. Okay, what is it? Do you have any question first? What is it? Um, I interrupt. So, actually, I edit again my PPT, so... I get I yeah because there is like I want to like change it just a little bit for so can I yeah just send you from okay your you may send your new PowerPoint presentation then okay, okay. Wait. okay I'm gonna wait for you then Okay, have you sent it? Oh, wait, the story is still loading. Okay. And then, how was your first examiner? You got major revision, minor revision for your first examiner? Yes, got the revision. Oh, it's still pending. Sorry. It's pending, really? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, what about the internet oh, connection? Already, already missed. Uh, missed. Okay, I'm gonna download it then. And then this is the latest PowerPoint presentation, yeah? Yes. Okay, wait a second. I'm gonna open it. Okay, I'm gonna start sharing the PowerPoint. Okay, can you see it now, Ada? Yes, I can see. 
Okay, since okay, there we go. Okay, come on, Ada. Time is yours, and then best of luck. Come on. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Honorable Dr. Muhammad Sofian Hadi, MPD as my examiner. So today, I'm Adawi Adha is would like to presentation about my um, thesis defense. The title is Measuring Students Reading Difficulties Comprehension in Lower Secondary Level. So let's start begin. Okay, begin of the study. Achievement of learning process needs support for all components and learning process in school. This goal can be achieved by reading development of knowledge. This is important things because we can take the information, add knowledge, and many perspectives from reading. So we can see in here that the expert I call 2011 said, reading is a meaning-making process that is conducted in a regular environment by using career knowledge in line with an appropriate method and purpose based on the presence of effective communication between an author and reader. So in here, I can take the relationship between the writers and reader. They are using the unity of giving and receiving the information or knowledge with understanding and reading. So best based on my uh, research at Amdaya I said uh, I found um, reading difficulties. There are several students they don't even know the meaning of the, the meaning. So not only about the meaning, like a female word they don't even know what is that. So of course that will be impact or influence where the students in reading uh, in reading comprehension are the student will take the meaning from a student's read. And then um, this is the important things that uh, from reading difficulties and reading comprehension that we have to properly prevent like take the starting from uh, collecting the data collecting the data and sample firstly we need to like the strong validity so to know the result or outcome from the reading comprehension and reading difficulties and the beneficial of course we can know the reading difficult students and we can measure the students uh, reading reading skill and then of course we can help the teacher and make it easy to teach to know to measure the student in reading level so next sister so next okay this is the literature review so in here literature review is there is like theories and explanation explanation more and will be related for my next chapter so in here i can explain about the relate that will be related with reading so i will continue with uh, there are two types of reading is intensive reading and extensive reading and intensive reading is um strategy students like in classroom and in classroom and uh, in a classroom and in school. So I can take like this learning process in school with the, uh, the teacher among the students. So we can take like the teacher give the student, teacher give the students um, question and then the student have to answer it based on the five categories like main idea, data information, making inference, learning inference and understanding vocabulary. And then for extensive reading, it's opposing from the intensive reading. If intensive reading in school and classroom, but extensive reading is out, out, outside classroom, outside school, is usually read like novel, newspaper, and magazine. Like that, it's more deep, like to get the information and to get the knowledge. And then reading comprehension. Of course, when we read, we need to understand about what we read. So. Firstly, we need the reading comprehension, and then the reading comprehension aspect. Uh, we can uh, we can see like the, we have to like determine the main idea from uh, from a uh, text that we read, and then locating reference. Locating reference is like pronouns, like we using the pronouns like singular, plural, and kind of like that, and then. Uh, making inference, making inference is to get the conclusions and then understanding vocabulary, maybe we 
don't even know like unfamiliar word unfamiliar word we can add new vocabulary, new vocabulary on there and then this information of course when we read we will get uh, more information so we can get the detail information there and then the last is validity of course that's on my research i need uh, i have to prevent uh, or evidence the evidence from my research so we need the validity so next okay so the method and the press procedures firstly i use quantitative methods is because um, based on my research, my title is measuring, so I have to measuring, and I have to calculate it, and I have to calculate calculating to know students' reading level in reading comprehension and reading difficulties. And then, secondly, I take the descriptive quantitative designs is because is because um, when I collect the data. Of course, I calculate the data and I describe it, my the result there, and then I use um, I use the, anal the analysis of the or the analysis of text, actually collecting like this, um the analysis that I use to know the reading comprehension, I give the ten, ten questions give to the student to the student will fill from, so I give like the document go. Google form, so the student have to fill the form, and the tens question bets of my five categories for intensive reading, and then the analysis of questionnaire. So I give the questionnaire to know to measure the to measure the students in reading. So I give like five uh ten questionnaires with scholarly cards, so the student have to uh will fill the form in Google document, in Google Sorry. Okay, um, next semester. Okay, this is the finding and interpretation. So we can see in here, the finding and this is the, re this, uh, this is uh, the result from the research I, I have done to calculate this is this is the result and we can see in here the main idea the main idea we i got the 30 age person in the green one and making inference in orange one i got 52 percent and in the red one i take little information 77 percent and in the, sorry in the blue one i take look at the inference 52 percent and for vocabulary, I got 79% in purple one. So this is based on the correctly answer. So in here, we can see a 30 age person, the students only, for the main idea, the students only uh, correct the answer, just only 30 age, 30, 30 age person. So firstly, the main idea is one of was the difficult uh, reading comprehension for the students. Okay, uh, next slide. Okay, this is the questionnaire. So, from the questionnaire, so there are like, <clears throat> so we can see in here, um, an idea here. Here is similar, like I said, like the medium. Here is, in a green one is 40, 45.8 and then well, I think inference 45.8 similar, and then for making inference easy 70, 77.5. Now, for both for vocabulary, 41.6, and for the information, 41.6. So, for main idea, vocabulary, locating inference, and the information is where actually is the medium for the students major for measuring students in reading and then for making inference is easy for the students. So uh, next semester. Okay. This is the conclusion. So I take uh, the conclusion. Okay. So based on my research, actually for from the test, 
is that 30 age person for the students. Of course, that's the difficult. So I think the students have to prepare their reading, uh, they really difficult to prepare the reading comprehensions. And for the questioner, I think the student have to improve their reading comprehension because uh, like for like they are for fair is a medium, they have to do more improvement. So that's on my that's on my um, research at MPS. Satu Muhammadiyah uh, The student have to repair and improve in reading comprehension. So thank you. That's all for me. Thank you so much for your attention. Okay, thank you very much. Ada Wiyah, ada Asri Rais. Yeah, now let's try to have a look at your PowerPoint presentation, starting from uh, your title. Yeah. So first of all, here it is measuring student reading difficulties comprehension in lower secondary level. That was your title. Yeah. So from your title here, all the things that you uh, did for this research, you tried to measure only the students yeah, without giving them treatment, right? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, okay. From your title here, then uh, there are several points that I can get here. First, it is about student reading difficulties. Yeah, and then uh, second one here is about lower secondary level, and then last one the measurement process. Okay, uh, from your title here, ada we had a the question appear here. Uh, when we try to conduct a research, when we try to conduct a research, we have what we call by basic background of the study, yeah? And then uh, the basic background of the study, yeah, it will lead us to the conclusions why did we try to, or why did we decided to conduct this research, yeah? So it is not uh, suddenly you come with your mind, okay, I'm gonna uh, conduct a research about measuring student reading difficulties. So you're gonna come with your basic part uh, from your background of the study, why here that you have the uh, aim to conduct this research about measuring and then about student reading difficulties and then also about uh, lower secondary level. Come on, that will be your first question, please. Okay, uh, sorry, Mister. I want to ask first is you ask about why I take like measuring, right? Yeah. Or in basic on the background study, why I take the measuring and then comprehension and lower secondary level. Yeah, from your title, come on. Oh, okay. okay. So basically, why I take my title like measuring students reading difficulties comprehension and lower secondary level is, of course, I want to know more about students in reading comprehension. So. Okay, first, wait a second. First, it is curiosity. That was your background. Second one, what is it next? <laughs> okay, your first basic background of the study here is your curiosity. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. second one, what is it? And then second is, of course, best on, like, you know, um, in, actually in, secondary level, so I interest with the secondary level is because, uh, yeah, I want to know how the students in lower secondary level can get the point when they read. So I want to measure because, of course, if we tell about this, like, um, can I, like, um, like compare, compare using something, sir? That's okay, come on. Like, because I ever look like, when in like government school, like international school, like, you know, like kind of like different things because in reading comprehension in school and in, in government in government school is like, uh, you know, we need 
uh, more to know about about that. And then in international school, there's kind of like um, the, the habit. So I think, so I want to know more the how the students, how the students can get it. The, so of course I can compare it, compare it. But yeah, I want to know the, because I ever like in, like, in elementary school, like in international school is they reading novel. And when I compare in here, they still need like, you know, the intensive reading. So, and then, yeah, I curious about that. Of course, that kind of different intensive and Okay, that's still the curiosity that led you to conduct this research. I need more basic reasoning. I need more basic background of the study. Yeah? Because all the things that you explained that you elaborate here is refer to the curiosity itself. Yeah? Let me give you an example. Uh, why did you want to conduct this research? For example, here, uh, the choosing of student reading difficulties because to me, yeah, this my example of my own perspective in giving the basic reasoning. To me, reading skill, especially in junior high school level here, is one of the difficultest skill to master. That's why, yeah, that's why, this led me to analyze their difficulties in reading. What are their difficulties? So after finding the difficulties, so the teacher uh, can try to give an alternative solution. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's okay. how that we uh, come with the best reasoning. Yeah. Okay, come on, come with another one, please. Ada. Okay, actually, Mr. when I guidance with my advisor, yep. when I ask, Actually, the intensive reading is the the easy one to take to take the uh, the the measuring because for the middle school uh, we cannot like take the extent use we cannot use extensive reading because it's hard to the middle school. So I take the intensive reading. So firstly, I want um, make it yeah just a little bit easy to the students, and then after I make it. I want to know the students. They are there. Understand with um the question that I give to them, <laughs> and so yeah. Basically, of course, I want to help the teacher to know. To know, uh, I I want to help the teacher to know the students. Um, know the students' reading. Uh, the students' reading skill level. Okay, Ada, you have two contrary opinion or assumption. First of all, you're mentioning in a junior high school, it is not uh, difficult, sir. It is easy for them. And I, then why did they decide to? But I actually, to there, I actually, when I, no, 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 it's not like, it's because I look from the name from, I look, look from the school. Okay. Oh, firstly, nah. so the firstly when I look from the school, firstly, Mister. So mm -hmm. I think like you know, as Hamudia, I think like it's not too more. Okay, it's not too more high. Like I think this last uh, still and uh no, so I cannot say big things. You know? Um, it's like okay, yes, I just how can I say like not to. Mm, not too famous I think I'm this so I think yeah maybe if I give like intensive reading to the students it will be hard for the students so basically yeah there's yeah some of the students they don't even know that mister <laughs> okay so, thank you I'm, Next one, next slide here for your first chapter, you're mentioning the ground of the study. For this one, what I really hate under Asrira is when you try to put the point, it is not the point. It is a quotation that you took from Akiol 2011. Yeah? Oh, um, from your background of the study, you may put several points. 
like I talked to you earlier. First, maybe it is about curiosity. Yeah, that was your background of the study, and then you come with your explanation. That's the point. Yeah. Oh, Second point, what is it? Yeah, for the background of the study. And then it's a little bit strange. Background of the study, you took yeah, the definition of reading. Yeah, why did we need the definition of reading on our background of the study? Yeah, background of the study fall with our strong statement, with our uh, strong reasoning. Why did we decide to conduct this research? Not reading is a meaning making process. Yeah? It seems like we are talking about the literature review here. Or if you want to put the definition of reading itself here, maybe you can come with your own perspective. The meaning of reading supported by actual, that will be okay. But one more time, talking about the theories, talking about the expert that you use for your thesis, it will be more relevant if you put it on your second chapter of your thesis. Okay, Ada. Okay, yes, I, I hope you can see uh, the point. Yeah. Okay, next slide, the literature review. Look at this one, okay, for the literature review. We got no point here, yeah. This is the title of the next slide. It is literature review. Maybe first, about the literature review, you can put reading. Second one, it will be about student difficulties, and then you can give an elaboration on it. And the next one, the third theories, the third group of theories that you need to explain, it will be about uh, lower secondary level, yeah? Those are three of the terms you could explain more in your literature review here, okay? Instead of putting the last one, you are putting the definition of reading on your first chapter. So in your literature review, you're gonna put first one, it is about reading, yeah? And then second one, it is about student difficulties, the third theory, it will be about the lower secondary level. Yeah, because those are three kind of the theories, three kind of uh, expert opinion that you need yeah, to build your strong research and yeah, to support your statement, to support your finding. Okay, Ada, is that clear enough for you? Okay, yeah, okay. next one. Okay, this one is interesting. Uh, when we try to talk about research method, we are talking about the whole process. Yeah, the whole process that we do starting from the beginning of the research till uh, uh, we try to give a report. Last process of our research here is reporting the funding of the research. Uh, point number one. Yeah, the first point you're mentioning quantitative methods. What kind of quantitative methods that you mean here? What kind of research? What can what kind of the approach? What kind of the strategy? What kind what type of the research that you try to uh, deliver here? This quantitative method, it will be about the experimental one, it will be about the uh, correlational one, and then any type of the research. Can you answer the first here? Come on, Ada. From yeah. quantitative method yeah. itself. What do you mean by quantitative method? Because there are oh, many okay. types of research in quantitative. Come on. Okay, for quantitative method, so that's on my opinion, Mr. So it's, yeah, it's okay, right? So it's a first of like, we based on like calculation, calculating, right? So that's why I take quantitative method to my research. So because it can make it easier me as a researcher to know uh, students um, in measuring reading comprehension. So that's why I take that in my research to know the result um, with the good with the with the good evidence. 
that's all. And then you are answering my questions. The type of research, this one, what type of quantitative research? It is belong to some type of research, of quantitative research, the model of quantitative research, kind uh, of quantitative research, you know? Ito apa? Sorry, Mr. Mm, descriptive quantitative. So, what is it? Descriptive quantitative. Okay, that will be the second point. Point number two. You are mentioning about descriptive quantitative design. When we mention about descriptive quantitative, even if it is a numerical data, even if it is a number, but we put only descriptive on it. Huh? Descriptive, it means we try to give our uh, description and yeah, our elaboration of the finding itself. Yeah? And uh, what is it, the design? What, what is it, the design that you mean here by uh, descriptive quantitative design of your research based on your title? Come on. Why I take like this five? Descriptive quantitative is because uh, really... I'm not asking you about why. So what is it? Oh, why? Okay. So what is it? Like... <laughs> what is, is it? it? The descriptive quantitative design based on your research here, based yeah. on your title. That's right? my perspective. Also, I'm sir. Yep. Come on. It's okay. So actually, why is because yeah, I collect the data from I collecting my data. So my research and then I calculating. So after that, when we know the results, so we describe it like one by one, we explanation of it, of it. Like that. So I yeah, of course I describe it. And not only um about with test or the questionnaire. So for all of the results that I got from my, that I got from my research, so I explain it. And so of course I describe it right. That's, That's why I use descriptive quantitative. Okay, thank you very much. That's the second point. The third point it is the analysis of tests. What is it here? The analysis of tests. As long as I'm aware of, before you're going to analyze the test, you're going to put what kind of the instrument that you use to get the data, right? So where okay. is it here? Okay, come on. Oh, okay, sorry for that. Just... I already also like get into Mr. Revision about the analysis. So actually it's like collecting the data, not analysis. Okay. Um, so I give the test and the questionnaire. Of course, if for the test, I want to know the students in reading comprehension. So yeah, I give the student test yeah, to fill. So I make it in Google, in Google, sorry. So I don't know, okay. So I make it. By people and then I give it to the students. So the student have to fill the forms, and then actually this the collecting the data. Okay, yes. so Not this analysis. one here it is data collecting technique. Yes, data yeah. collecting. Sorry. And that okay. it will be the same also with point number four, I guess. You're using yeah. Kessner yes, to get a data. Uh, I, yes, well, okay. I use the version for measuring. Okay. And then next one. Uh, I want you to please try to uh, give me a clear process, yeah? Because we are talking about the research method here. I want you to please try to uh, describe it, try to explain in a clear way the process that you made while conducting this research. Come on, starting from the beginning till the Last one, till the process of concluding, till the process of uh, completing all the details for your research. Come on. Okay. You want me to, oh, uh, you want me to tell about the story, the process of this? Yeah, research, the right? process of the research. So Come everything on. like the process, okay. Come on, <laughs> just <laughs> interpret it yourself. Come on. Okay. So firstly, so yeah, firstly, um, I got to school to get the permission for the principal and after that I go to for the teacher to yeah communication for um, me as a researcher want to research the their uh, her students and then 
after that the teacher um joined me at me to the group so after that i explained for the students so i would like to um give like tests and then questionnaire to them so yeah they um actually the teacher already already said to the students to help me to uh about to help me um to help me and then after that so i make it the test firstly so i make it the test firstly is uh, firstly i um ask first for my advisor Ms. Muti. so and then i was actually firstly i want to use extractive reading like get give the summary to the students but Ms. Muti say that it's not suitable because um for a middle school uh, it's not for middle school cannot um get a uh, cannot do like summary so i think the summary is have to like high school in middle school it's not good that's kind of so i um follow the follow the instructions and so then i make it the intensive reading for the students for the text i use five categories is yeah to five okay i use five categories and then um, Proceed. Okay. I, okay, I use five the five categories. So I make ten. Actually, I make ten questions based on five five categories. So the student has to determine main idea and then making inference, logarithmic inference, detailed information, and then understanding vocabulary. So I make based on my five categories. It is that's pretty. So after that, the students fill the form. So after that, the students fill the form and I already know the result from there. So, and then after I give the test, so somebody say that I have to give the questionnaire to know uh, students it, to no, right. So now uh, you get to, uh, can measure the students' it reading comprehension. So I make the questionnaire that's on the five categories also, and I and I make by Google for the yeah, Google form and I share on WhatsApp for the students and the students fulfill the form. And okay. Yeah. Thank you. Ada, that's enough. Okay. You don't see my okay. point. Why yeah. I'm asking you that one one more time? When we talk about research method, Ada, we talk about the whole process. You gotta mention here on your method and procedure <laughs> when that you conducted this research, how long that you conducted oh. this research. Yeah, how long? Yep. Yeah, you gotta put it In here month. on your method and procedure. Yeah, and then also. Uh, what kind of the what kind of the uh, technique that you use to analyze the data? You could explain about that one, yeah. And then also, it seems like um, it is uh, very strange. Ada, uh, you came to a certain kind of school, and then okay, I'm gonna conduct a research. Yeah, you gonna work on the task. You gonna fill on the questionnaire. Yeah, it seems like really strange kind of process of research yeah so <laughs> you gotta explain it the whole process what it mean here okay first of all i'm consulting okay. with my uh advisor and then is giving me the answer <laughs> blah, blah 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 yeah uh so not coming to the school okay and then the <laughs> teacher signed me to whatsapp group and then you said this what i <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you and then that's not what i mean that's not a, what i'm expecting from you now let's leave this one yeah uh, i hope you will have more clear kind of uh details on your complete thesis for the third chapter okay ada can you repeat it in sorry okay uh, i hope you will have a better kind of explanation on your complete passes okay. yeah okay and then next one it will be the same also where did you learn to create 
this kind of finding and interpretation uh, you are making okay main idea 38% making inference till the last one vocabulary 39% yeah uh, <laughs> okay i want you to please try to explain more about this finding and then interpretation come on why i make like the person make the percentage like that mister that's okay come on come on so i okay i i read that wrong again okay <laughs> so um <laughs> so okay um okay it's because why i make that so yeah i want to know like the point of my slide right am i right yeah and so firstly from that point so this is like the main idea and then give the points this is the result mr for my findings the result for all of the findings so i give the all of the results so to make me clearly explanation so that's the point actually that's a plot that that's the point from my findings okay but on the test okay okay that's the uh name of the point that i need you to put here finding and the interpretation and then suddenly give this kind of graphic this kind of skill you gotta explain you gotta put the note on it this oh. finding interpretation here based on the text yeah so we can so we can have different kind of perspective here is this based on the questioner is this based on the interview or is this based on the student average on their score okay you mm -hmm. gotta put a clear kind of note on it that's why my first uh thought when i saw this one okay what is this why suddenly this is an idea why this making inference yeah this is based on the questioner that you share to the students or this is based on the task that you get them so we have many kind of interpretation based on this data do you see my point adam yes okay uh next one okay look at this one <laughs> Actually, the okay answer. what is it okay can you uh this is the result of the questionnaire or it is the result of the task or this is the result of the uh sss as program that you use come on Actually, i already said what i presentation is about is the actually i already said on my presentation previously so yes, uh, for the questionnaire, Mister. So the firstly is for um test, and then the secondly is for the questionnaire. Mm -hmm. The uh, this is the the findings on my questionnaire, the result. Okay. Do you mind please try to explain about five hundred percent, a thousand percent, five thousand percent? Okay. What do you mean over there with? the percentage that you uh, made for this data. Wait, sir, I have to open my... Okay. No, wait, wait. Okay, from... Actually, that's from the main idea, sir. <laughs> Usually, like, is this, like, um, suitable? I use this for... I make this for, like, Mm, appropriate with the interval so if so yeah for this the um, it is um students ability in reading comprehension depends on students reading comprehensions so from the main idea is 40 45 point h is fair i think it's medium for the difficulties and then for the vocabulary is 41.6 is uh similar is also fair and for the love thing for the love thing in friends is also friend fair 
is 45.8 and the vocabulary uh, sorry and then making inference easy for the 75.5 percent so it's basically from specifically from the from i to major reading comprehension for students based on the questionnaire okay when we try to compare this slide and then this slide we, we can see the difference here you're using percentage one to a hundred and then the second one you're using this one till okay that's the question actually, that's make I... me confused come on Anda. okay actually i make it for the question is also make the percentage mister yep uh -huh. so like sorry for Seldom and never and like okay, I see. Like always and often and seldom and never like that. But in percentage, Mr. Four. Oh sorry. So I have to explain it more. That's okay, but uh five thousand and five hundred percent. Yeah, like you know, because I'm sorry, Mr. Like, uh, 0 0.0 until 0 0.30, we can say that difficult and 0 0.3 and 0 until 0 0.70 is fair. And then 0 0.71 until 1 is easy. So I use that. I use the interval. Okay, maybe you can put your scoring criteria on it. Yeah, so we can uh, read it more <laughs> clear yes. and more comprehensive. Okay, Ada? Okay, next one, your conclusion. Okay, your conclusion, when we try to conclude our finding, Ada, uh, we're going to make our uh, majority of the student in lower secondary level, they have their main difficulties in blah, 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 blah. And then the medium difficulties in blah, blah, blah. And then the lowest difficulties for a lower secondary level here consists of blah, 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 blah. That's how that we uh, try to conclude our finding. Yeah. And then uh, my question for you. So what is it now? Yeah, what is it next? After you conducted this research, yeah, we need we need the next research. We need a follow-up kind of research that will solve the problems, right? Because when we come, when we try to create, when we try to conduct a research, when we try to make a research here our aims, our main goal here to solve the problem. But on your case here, I know we had Asri Ra'is, you try to uh, find the student problems, the student difficulties, yeah? and then you are not coming with any of alternative solutions. Okay, my focus, my aim here for this research only to know, only to gather all the problems, all the student difficulties. Yeah, so it is not the uh, final process, I guess. And, uh, yeah, okay. if you try to go to a doctor, yeah, when you have symptom with you, so you stop only after the process of diagnosing. Yeah, so not providing uh, what kind of the treatment, what kind of the uh, medicine, what kind of the next step, so you can be a healthy uh, kind of person again. Do you see my analogy, Ada? Yes, of course, I know, like, not only about the findings, but we have to apply uh, clearly explanation about the process also. Okay. Thank you. I guess that's enough for your PowerPoint presentation. And then now, can we go to your complete tasks, Ada? Okay. Okay. Uh, let me open it first. Yeah. And uh, what kind of term 
that you use for your thesis, Ada? It is an author, it is a researcher, or it is writer? What, mister? I have to check it first. <laughs> no, come on. Why this is other weird. This is other. <laughs> because I have a lot of like folder thesis, 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 mister, so I have to check it first. Okay, the latest this one that you sent to me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what is it? I mean, what is it? The term that he used for this research. You're using writer. You are using author, or you're using researcher. Researcher. Okay. What? Well, so kind of the dove. Okay. Kind of okay. Name, kind of name on on the on my thesis, right? Okay. Uh, this. You. Okay, can you see your counted thesis now? Anna? Yes, um, yes. Okay, now let's try to dig down your thesis. Okay, starting with your abstract here. Oh my God. The purpose of this research is to prove the measuring student reading difficulties comprehension in lower secondary level. What is it? Proving the measuring student reading difficulties comprehension? This proving is it. a random kind it? of sentences. Yeah? What is it that you try to prove? You aim Sorry. in conducting this research here only to find out. I already out. got. Already got. What is it? I already got the revision. From okay, so I'm going to skip this one then. Okay. Uh, Next, what about the first chapter? Do you have any revision with you? You already got revision or no? Yeah. Yeah. So do we have to discuss about your first chapter? No. I'm giving uh, you an option. No? We don't have it. Like it's done, Mr. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm not going to. For all of the, it's already good. Okay. Okay, this one, I guess, uh, who's the examiner for your professional seminar? Ada? Oh, previously name? Your professional seminar? Who is the examiner of your professional seminar? In the title, right? Before I change it. Right? Is it right? No. Who is your professor oh, examiner? Well, Mr. Aswir. Okay, Mr. thank you very much. This one, you're going to revise it, my dear. Limitation of the problem. You are not putting a limitation. What we call by limitation here, you try to conduct this research. You try to find the student difficulties on lower secondary level only on a certain class, only on a certain school. That's how that we can claim we have the limit is limitation of the problem. Do you understand, Ada? Okay, so okay. we don't have to don't have to put the limitation, right? You Sorry. have to put the name okay. of the class, okay. the name of the school where the two conducted Sorry. this research. That's what does it okay, mean okay. by limitation. Okay. Nah? Okay. Yes, okay. okay, problem of the study. <laughs> okay, I guess you get to consult more about your oh, really, pro sir. problem of the study with the Pfizer. Problem of the study, it will be about the student problem, right? And there, yeah, yeah. yeah. and then why? I already got it. <laughs> okay, you're gonna revise this one. Okay, next for the second chapter. For the second chapter, okay, okay, reading. Okay, look at this one. Now you gotta revise all of this one. Why did you put 2008, 2004? You're going to use 2010 above, yeah? No more discussion. You're going to use 2010 above. No more discussion. Yeah? Wait, that's the literature, right? Yeah, you're going to revise it. And then this one also, until 2000, no. It is 
21 years ago. That is I already. <laughs> you're going to revise this one. And then this is also the same. Yeah. Okay. Look at this one, 1998, really? Only a little bit, mister, is that? No, you're gonna revise it all. Uh, if you're not finding a book 2010, do not use it then. Uh, yeah. Try to find, okay, this one also, oh, then... maybe kind of later here, 2000, and then this one also, it's you're gonna revise it. This one, look at, and then this is really, uh, not our English department. You were quoting from Sujanto in Nurhadi. Really? That's really not indicating our English department. You gotta throw it away. And then look at this one. That came from 2011, but it is from Sumadoyo, someone from Central Java or from. Yeah, it's Java. Do not use Sumadoyo. Yeah? Try to use John. Try to use Smith. Try to use Kathy Holmes. That will be better. Yeah? And then, well, look at this one. Yes, sir. 1982. Really? No. It is a big no. Long, it is a big no. Yes, sir. This is also no. You can revise it. Sorry, also no. Yeah. Okay, look at this one. This will be a total revision from your reference, my dear. Yeah. Look at Richard. We got Richard from 2015, 2017, I guess. And why did you use 2007? Yeah. And then next. Okay. <laughs> What is this? There are many types for the to create it here, my dear. Yeah? And then this is one of the... <laughs> okay, I don't like Sugiono. Yeah? Do not use Sugiono. Okay. And then this for your theoretical framework. Okay. Okay, sometimes you use researcher and then you use author, yes. yes. <laughs> so you're gonna yeah, focus on using fun. one term only, yeah. Because first, if you're using writer, all the time you're gonna use writer. If you're using researcher, you're gonna use researcher all the time, also, yeah. And then, okay, what is it? The method this research use quantitative inquiry about. This is a random sentence. Yes, okay. okay. <laughs> and then Creswell, that's what I need. Creswell, not Sugiyo, no, not Arikunto. Yeah? Okay. And then not this one, Cooper and Schindler, because it is from the time no, six. No. It is a no, huh? So actually my reverence is not Okay, you oh, gotta no. make a total repetition. Okay, for you. Yes. Okay, look at this one. We got a legendary <laughs> kunzo. <laughs> no, do not use Ari okay. Do not use Ari Kunto. Okay. Ari Kunto, you are a big fan of Ari Kunto, my dear. Why Ari Kunto all the time? Huh? Okay, not this one also. Oh my god, fun. No. Ari Kunto, how many <laughs> times did I mention Ari Kunto? Huh? Ari Kunto, more Ari Kunto. Okay. Wow. Well, look at this one. You are a big fan, so what are you doing? Oh, because yeah? the research is appropriate with my research, so that's why I take it. The previous one, it is Sugiono, and then now we got Sudijino. <laughs> it is from 2001, and it is right. not from Creswell, it is not from Gay. Yeah, you will find a better reference. Yeah, Sujono. 
Sugiono, Sujiono, and then now Sujono. Ah, okay, no, do not use this one. Wow. Because if I take like of the English research or course, it will be different to start. Yeah, it should be it. different. It should be different. You focus here is for the. Yes, uh, yes, yeah, you focus here is for reading comprehension, the reading difficult test. So all the reprint it should be using Western or because in Indonesian education and where and international education will be different. So I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not going to take with Indonesian. Yeah, I'm not going to take any of the reference from Sugiono, Arikunto, Sugiono, uh, all the Jojo, all the no no things. Yeah, you can revise it. Okay, I guess uh, that should be enough for first till the last chapter of yours. And then, where is your reference here? It's a uh, reference. And why is this appendix one? Below. Appendix here, it should be after the reference that you create. Below, Mr. Phil. <laughs> Far, far away. Okay. So where is it? Yes. Okay, this one. Okay, this will be the moment of truth. All oh, the reprints here that I'm gonna. Okay, so, this one. That's okay. This one. Hayati, really? Akil Hayati. Oh because my god. I, no. I don't care. Akil Hayati is no, 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 international. In, it is international? Yes. So okay. I take from international journal. Okay, that's okay then. If it is international, that's okay. Yeah. And then next one. What about this one? Dini Alhani it is from International Journal. Where? Because Mr. Because when I read that reference is a problem with my research. Okay. You know? But uh, <laughs> I don't like it if, he, if it is from Indonesia. Huh? And the next one, okay, you got many international language, many international journal here. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Of course. Uh, but some of your, yeah, some of your reprints is out of date. Yeah. And then, okay. Okay. Okay, look at this one. There are some quite different sets before the reference that you wrote here. Yeah. With <laughs> the quotation that you put inside your passes. Yeah. You, Actually, you're I'm putting Arikunto, you're putting Cresswell, but i I can find it that. here. Yeah. Why? Because Why, I'm Ada? Hmm? Because I take the... Okay, so I have to explain it. So because, Mr. So I take for the, like, findings, I follow Indonesian journal. So because that appropriate with my research. So I take that. So mm -hmm. for the international journal, in, for the international journal, just several. So I just take note not the not the not the uh, not the take not take the expert journal but I, no i'm not take the expert from how many is it like the expert and then i have to copy and and i have to copy and yeah you know i have to like explain i'm not take that i'm just take i'm just uh read and then i put it on my thesis all right Okay, my point here, we had a Srira is if you use only all of this reprints here, yeah, it should be uh, no quite problem with your reprints. But the fact when we try to uh, break down all of your chapters, starting from first chapter till the last chapter, there are many, yeah, there are many that I got from 2000 and then uh, 1998, yeah, and then you're not putting this one, 
this will be a legit kind of reference, yeah, because many of international journal here. Yeah. Yes, if you are taking all the quotation, so you're gonna put it from Zam, from Lawrence, that will be yes. better. Yeah. Yes, sir. And I'm then Becker because... Linda, it is 2011. When we try to uh, find here Becker and Linda 2011, now let's try to do it here. Uh, let's try to find it. Okay. Becker and Linda, for example. Result. Hmm. Okay, can you see it? We can see find saying. what you're looking for. Do you want to look for something else? Come on. Why? Okay, actually, I want to use the in international journal. Okay, use like 19. A lot of like from the expert said, a lot of like 1990, not 2000. No, no, like they just, I only read. And then after I read, so I put it there. So not I'm not take the expert you no know, I'm not take I'm not put it Mister because yeah I know from my friends that you know like from like a person the expert yeah I do okay so one more one more time so I'm, not, I'm gonna uh, said, give you the enlightenment yeah ada all the reprints here you got really awesome reprints because you took it from international journal so it should be it should be written also inside your complete passage yeah so not only a real reference yeah so i already gave you the example baker and linda and then now let's try to find one more here it will be Halit. Let's try to find Halit. Okay, the result. Okay, well, so the actually, result Halit, it is only on your reprints. We can find it. How to inside. make that first actually? You want to see the So, can you explain it? How to like. What is it, Ada? Actually, I'm not used. Actually, I'm just like Halit. I'm not, yeah, I'm used Halit, but. So I cannot understand how you search. You, I mean, how it here, you put it only on your reprints or you put it also inside your passes? Surely I already. Huh? No? It is a yes or no? No, no, no. Okay, I'm not you know how to make it because I only like, you know, from the because I'm from Mandalay, so I just don't use, I'm not used the notebook like that. So if I use, and like footnote, of course, that can be, that can be in here, but it can be. Okay, one more time. Adawiyah Adasira is, you're going to put all the name of the author here, especially for those that international journal. Yeah, inside your thesis. That will be better instead of putting Ari Kunto, Sugiono, and then Sugiono, Sujono. I can find their name here on your reference. Do you see my point? Yeah. If you use all the name inside your thesis, you're going to put it also on your reference. Yeah. Because we got to check. Yeah. We got to check all the expert that you use. Yeah, it is really that you put their opinion, their perspective, or not, and then uh, it will be really strange when you try to mention all the names inside your thesis, but when we try to find it on your reprints here, we can find any of the name. Do you see my point? And do you guys? Yeah, okay. okay. I guess that's enough for you. And then it is already one hour, I guess, yeah? And it will be the same like the times that I gave to Sifa Fadila, only three days. That, that's all you got to revise your complete passes, yeah? Three days only. After three days, I can announce that you pass or not for your passes demands, okay? okay.
Oke, okay, ada Wiyada Sirais. Thank you very much for enlighten us with your research. Yeah. Let's hope you are not gonna stop until recognize all the student difficulties. Yeah. But this will be the basic for the next researcher for them to provide alternative solution for all the problems for all the difficulties that faced by student in lower secondary level. Okay, let's and let's close this uh, thesis defense here. We're reciting Hamdala together. Alhamdulillah, alamin. And then last, wallahul muafiq wal hari la sabiil al-rasat. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.